our heater broke again, so I've been spending the entire evening trying to keep my upper arms glued to my sides like this. My forearms, too, when I'm able to. I have a space heater, but uh, I don't like to keep it on all the time. Especially because I can't keep it on overnight. You're not supposed to do that, leave them unattended. So, anyway, what I really wanted to talk to you about was the idea of focus. Like, I've been thinking a lot about the last week, how I have been spending a lot of time on Reddit and Twitter again, now that I've allowed myself to. And I don't think it's the websites that's the problem. I think it's the issue of being able to focus. So I'll try working on a math problem set, but I can only do that for like 15, 20 minutes usually before I'm like, you know what, I'm not sure this is a good idea. Why don't I spend time on Tumblr instead? So the issue is focus. If I can learn how to focus, which I think I was pretty good at in high school, maybe not so good at it anymore, but if I can learn how to do it again, then the websites won't be an issue anymore. So I did some reading about that, and I found something interesting, which I thought you might be interested to hear, and it was about meditation. And I never really understood before why meditation might be a good idea, but the way it was phrased on this article that I read uh, was really interesting. They said, meditation is the idea of clearing distractions from your mind so that you can just focus on your breathing. And then that translates well to being able to clear distractions from your mind while focusing on doing math problems or focusing on programming or something like that, right? So meditation is basically practice learning to focus. Isn't that great? So I'm thinking it might be a good idea to try doing that a little bit, except it's really cold in our room. So I'll probably have to turn on the heater before I'm able to adopt a more meditative position than this. Actually, hey, I have an idea. My dad made a comment on one of my earlier videos, the one where I gave you the apartment tour, that apparently it's easy to switch the ang er, switch the side that the fridge door opens from. So I think that might be something that I can get done tonight. That might be a fun project to try. Let's go see if I have the tools and stuff. Alright. This doesn't look too hard, but apparently those are Torx screws, which require a special screwdriver. And I'm not sure if we have one of those. I'll go buy one? I don't know. Yeah, not the measure bowl. Good enough. For those kids following along at home, do not follow my example. I just didn't have mustache trimmers and my mustache was kind of starting to interfere with eating. So, just had to go. All I had were these. So I decided I'd give it a shot. But yeah, buy mustache trimmers. working again! Thank heavens. Today's adventure was stir fry again. Got some vegetables and peanuts, pigs and onions, and the rice. Okay, so here's the thing. Today's cooking adventure took an hour, over an hour and 15 minutes to do. And that's a lot of time. I'm thinking, like, it didn't turn out amazingly like I wasn't impressed which is fine because I wasn't using a recipe or anything so I guess that's kind of to be expected I was sort of making it up uh, but I 
think I might be reaching the point in the quarter. It's six weeks now. Start at six weeks. We have ten weeks of classes and then a week of exams at the end. So I'm thinking I might be getting to that time in the quarter when these lengthy cooking adventures aren't necessarily worth it. And I should try to find some easier recipes that I could just sort of start cooking and forget about, or maybe that don't involve very much cooking at all. Like, I don't know. I'm just thinking, <clears throat> I can't do stir-fry twice a week if it's going to end up taking two and a half hours, you know? And I didn't have very many leftovers either. I had, like, a little Tupperware container of leftovers, which is probably enough for a day, maybe. Two days of cooking in an hour and 15 minutes. I mean, meh, it's okay, but I guess I guess what I'm saying is cooking is kind of losing its charm a little bit. At the beginning of this quarter, I was having a lot of fun with it because I haven't done much cooking before, but now I've kind of gotten to the point where either maybe I need to find more interesting recipes or I need to get easier, less time-consuming recipes because then I don't really have time to do the more interesting recipes, so maybe there will be less cooking in the rest of the quarter is what I'm saying. I hope not, but that might be what happens. Today I learned that roasted peanuts are actually very different from raw peanuts. They don't taste the same at all. Raw peanuts remind me of green beans, actually, which was the first time I ever actually thought, really, that maybe peanuts are a legume instead of a nut. So I roasted some peanuts of my own. This will look the roasted ones, and they're the raw ones. I didn't have much to say today, I guess. Not much footage, but I talked your ears off yesterday, so I think you're gonna be okay. Have you heard of the Flappy Bird fad going around? Apparently the guy just pulled it from the app store, but there was a super popular game called Flappy Bird, and I found the most awesome online version for it. 